Astonishing revelation. Volcanoes are fed by mush reservoirs, says a new study. This is by Science News. Volcanoes are not fed by liquid magma formed in large underground caves called magma chambers. Instead, they're fed by so-called mush reservoirs, areas of mostly solid crystals with magma in the small space between the crystals, according to new research from Imperial College London and the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. Quote, we now need to look again at how and why eruptions occur from mush reservoirs, said Imperial College London's professor Matthew Jackson, who was the lead author of the study. He said, we can apply our findings to understanding volcanic eruptions with implications for public safety and also to understand the formation of metal or deposits associated with volcanic systems. In order to erupt, volcanoes need a source of magma, that is, melted liquid rock, containing relatively few solid crystals. Traditionally, this magma was thought to be formed and stored in a magma chamber. Recent studies of magma chemistry have challenged this view, leading to the suggestion of the mush reservoir model, where smaller pools of magma sit in the small gaps between, crystal, between solid crystals. However, the mush reservoir model could not explain how magmas containing relatively few crystals arise and are delivered to volcanoes in order for them to erupt at the surface. Now with sophisticated modeling of mush reservoirs, Professor Jackson and co-authors came up with a solution. Within a mush reservoir scenario, the magma is less dense than the crystals, causing it to rise up through spaces between them. And as it rises, the magma reacts to the crystals, melting them and leading to local areas contaminating containing magma with relatively few crystals, it's these short-lived areas of increased magma that can lead to eruptions. A major mystery about volcanoes is that they were thought to be underlying by large chambers of molten rock. Such magma chambers, however, were very difficult to find, said co-author Professor Stephen Sparks from the University of Bristol. The new idea is that molten rocks form within largely crystalline hot rocks, spending most of its time in little pores within rock matter, rock rather than in large magma chambers. However, the rock melt is slowly squeezed out to form pools of melt, which can erupt or form ephemeral magma chambers. As well as the initiation of eruptions, the new mush reservoir model can help explain other phenomena in volcanic systems, such as how the magma chemical composition evolves and how much older crystals can be erupted within younger magmas. The research was published in the journal Nature and it's on Sci News. My question is, how do they know about, uh, what do they think about the supervolcanoes? We've been told that they have a huge uh, area of magma chamber below them, for example, Yellowstone. So if there are no uh, magma chambers, if that theory wipes out and they're just uh, mush, pools of mush squeezing out through crystals, how does that explain the gigantic eruptions of supervolcanoes? That's my question. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.